Hey guys, welcome to Creative Computing Tutorials. Today I got a really interesting keynote template for you guys. Take a look. We got a question with four possible answers. Then the correct answer will stay on the screen and the rest will just disappear. Alright, so as you can guess, this is very heavily inspired by some <laughs> TV game show and it's all done in Keynote using just shapes, text and animation. So it's really light and flexible template for you. I have created four copies of the question. So the first one, the answer A is correct. Then the second one, B, C and D. So you don't need to mess up with animation to pick the correct answer. Just copy the correct question from my template. The link to this template will be in the description below. But before you leave to play with your questions and answers, let's uh, take a look into this uh, template, how I have created this in Keynote, all right? So I start with a simple shape, then I change the number of arms here because I need six. I do some rotation, I need this pointy arm on the left and right, and then I duplicate this shape, all right? I duplicate this several times, select all, and then unite into one shape. So that's also possible. You can unite several shapes into one using Keynote. Okay, so what next? Now I duplicate that shape over here, as you can see, make one bigger box at the top. So we got space for our question. All right, we can change the style a bit. We can fit it with color. Later on, I will change this gradient, but for now it's going to be blue. And we cannot forget about the border line. That's quite important element of this interface for this show game. So let's put some border line. I pick a light yellow, almost like a gold. There are several different styles used in different countries, but I went with the gold line like this. All right, and now we also use additional line as a decoration. As you may remember, they got this line from left to the right, and it's kind of nicely guiding those questions when they pop up on the screen. So let's keep that. I just draw a simple line using shape tool. Then move it behind our box for the question, and I will make a very similar line for our answers as well. To select multiple objects, like I just did, simply hold shift on your keyboard. This way you can select multiple shapes and edit them at once. All right, I think I'm going to modify the backdrop by adding an image. Okay, so I got image inspired by the show itself. It's blurry, so it's not taking too much attention from the questions and answers. Now I can simply type a text here and I will recolor the letter as it is in the show. So A will be in the same color as the border line. If you're going to use the color, you can also save it here, just drag and drop so you can use it later on. And same for the next text box, we got option B, then will be option C and option D. As I mentioned, I will make uh, four copies of this question slide and each copy will come with the different correct answer. So first slide is answer A, second answer B, third answer C and fourth answer D, all right? So keep that in mind. You can simply copy the one you need. All right, we got our answers. Then of course, in the biggest box at, box at the top, we will have our question over there. We can make the font a bit larger using the text panel on the right. And as you can see, we're almost there for the visual part. We can just select all shapes and modify this fill color. We need a darker gradient than this. So we need to search for some advanced options. So we need to create our own advanced gradient. All right. So of course, you could just use the fill color like this, black for example, but we can make it even better by using some advanced gradients. This way we can have a full control of the gradient. Take a look. And now we can decide which color is on the right and which color is on the left to match with the backdrop. All right, much, much better. We got this high contrast now. 
all right so that's all for the visual side now simply we need to add animation so our questions appear then answers appear and then after you click the mouse and will only the correct question will stay and everything else will disappear so we got like move in phase when everything appear and then move out phase when all the wrong answers will move away from the screen so we can see only the correct one all right and that's how i built this whole template for you using keynote on mac os it will be also very similar if you are ipad user all right guys thank you for today as i mentioned the link to download this template is in the description if you found this content useful and helpful please consider subscribing to this youtube channel and i hope i will see you in my next tutorial bye